midnight. We just got home. Hi everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog. This vlog will be another market one. Yeah. And the markets I have this weekend are pretty big ones, I think. And it's going to be really good weather. I am like, it's so hot right now. Uh, it's been 29 today, I think, and 29 tomorrow, and I think 28 to the next day. So it's going to be warm. And then I think it's meant to cool down a bit to like around just over 20s. So it's going to be like perfect market weather uh, for Friday night and Sunday. I did have a market on the Saturday, but I had to cancel because I'm going to a wedding now. So there's also a day in between I miss out on making stock. Like, I might be able to make some in the morning, possibly, but we're just going to have to see how we go. <laughs> Hayfield, and then I got Murdoch. Murdoch? Murdoch. Murdoch? I don't know. I didn't actually realize how low I was on stock until my last market at Merbu. I went to go set everything out and, like, the scrunchies, and I barely had enough to even fill the board. So there was, like, so many random ones on there, and, like, and they just weren't the styles I wanted, the styles that are really good sellers. All the good stuff was already gone. And then XL scrunchies, I've actually sold quite a few of those. So they're also really low. I did make a heap of bows last time. So I think I'm okay for Christmas bows. But it's more the uh, like floral stuff that I need to remake. Some deluxe bows. I sold all my pom-pom bows. A few other bits and pieces that I want to get done before the weekend or before Friday. And this time I'm going to be leaving... Friday morning, really early. <laughs> I'm not going to be leaving. I think I left at 2 or 3 last time. Definitely not going to do that again. Uh, it stressed me out so much because I got there late because I couldn't find how to enter the place. And then yeah, I was almost crying by the time I got there because I was just so stressed out. That's going to be the plans. I'll take you along with me as well for the setup. And yeah, just having a look around the market, I guess. Yeah, probably going to be another. It's probably going to be a boring vlog because we've already done... This will be my third market vlog. Yeah. Uh, there will be a few videos to break this up in between, but I mean, it's still a lot of market vlogs. And also exciting news, merch is on its way. Also, do you like my drink bottle? It's new. I absolutely adore it. It's a sip, sippy one. I love sippy cup ones. <laughs> oh, I'm such a child. But yeah, it is so good. It's got um, like the times you meant to drink. On there so yeah, that is seriously amazing uh you can get them from ohana and co if you wanted to go buy yourself one um from australia so i'll probably start making bows or cutting fabric soon i just wanted to do the intro while it's still sunny i'm gonna go cook some food first but yeah it is uh what is it it's currently it's currently tuesday night so i've got wednesday and thursday to make stuff uh, and then I also need to make sure that I have a video to upload too. Okay, enough of me chit-chatting. I didn't get back on because I did a live and it went for like three and a half hours and it was midnight by the time I finished. <laughs> but what we what we got done in the live. So I got a heap of XL fabrics cut and normal size. But I'm not going to work on the scrunchies right now. What I want to do is work on bows because I, as usual, I know that if I don't do the bows, I'm not going to do them. And same with uh, mini scrunchies. I want to try and sort out what fabrics I want to use for them. I know I'm really low on like the Christmas stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. I will film it, but I do have the washing, you know, the dryer going. And I have to have this door open because it is so hot in here. Uh, it's meant to rain soon, I thought, but it's loud. Oh my god, the air just that came in. <laughs> so much nicer. So yeah, you might hear that unfortunately but yeah i don't want to like die in here because it's really hot uh yeah i'm going to start with the bows i think i'm going to cut some new fabrics again i would have cut them last night on the live stream but i uh it's kind of hard to answer questions and kind of think about what you're doing so i was just kind of doing mind mindlessly activities so i'm going to pick out some different prints that i can make make into bows and maybe look through the boxes again
haven't really filmed much um because it was all really the same stuff i was just making bows but all right like tip you here we go so these are all the bows i've made i've made 16 of the large ones 33 of the medium and 47 of the minis so i'm pretty happy with how many bows i've got for the markets i still have a whole pile of the medium ones but that will come in handy for next weekend's markets or if i have to do a quick restock of this size uh a saturday morning or something before i go to the wedding i think i might go to bed now though i am a little bit worried because I've just, yeah, I haven't, I didn't really get much done today. And I still have all the, like, the mini scrunchies and normal size scrunchies and the XLs to do. So I think I might go through what I've cut and limit, limit it even more so that I can really get more done. Yeah. I'll start um, making scrunchies tomorrow morning. And sewing, and hopefully I'll be able to film that because uh, it'll be a sunny day. <laughs> so I've just gone for a walk with Flo, and it's already so hot outside. I'm like dying right now. Actually, I must not have turned on. I put the aircon on, but I can't hear it, so it didn't obviously work. But today, I really need to. I have to do my YouTube video still. It's only gonna be a short one again because really busy. Uh, I have to do all the scrunchies so I'm going to go through them in a sec and just start sewing and just get right into it really and yeah I made all these last night so many well we should get it a nice shot of these so as usual I've got barely any labels left so uh I'm going to have to make labels today, which I'm not looking forward to because uh, the heat press is in the garage and it gets so hot in there. So I might try and use my Easy Press from Cricut in here because yeah, it, it will be, it's 32 today. It will be so hot in that garage. It gets so hot in there. I don't know how it will go.
that. It's 82 degrees today, and now look at it. The wind is insane. I feel like we're going to take off. Can you see the lightning? Oh, it's going to start real bucketing down. It's starting to get heavy.
Okay guys, it's pretty late. I've made a heap of mini scrunchies and a few XLs. I just need to snip all the threads off. And then I've got two big boxes like this that I need to sew the label into. Um, they've already been like flipped over and under like that. Um, I just need to sew the label in and I don't have any labels left so I'll have to make some of those tomorrow morning. I'm just hoping I'm going to have enough time to, yeah, do everything tomorrow morning before I have to leave. Uh, okay, it's open at 3 and that means I can leave at 2.20 by the latest to get there at 3. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get to bed though. I'm really tired. Morning. I don't have long today to be able to finish off these scrunchies. But pretty much all i got to do is do the two boxes and then start cutting everything. But I have to make the labels first. So I'm just going to quickly cut a heap of labels up. Uh, I think I'll do two or three sheets. It's a bit time poor as usual. So uh, it's 11 o'clock right now. Um, I've been doing other things this morning. Other things that needed attending to. Uh, yeah. Ah! So I think I will do it in the, sh uh, the garage rather than using the heat easy press 2. I'll just use my actual heat press because uh, I know what I'm doing <laughs> that way. I know exactly how long to put on for uh, and it's not that hot right now. So I'll go turn that on because it takes like 20 minutes to heat up and then hopefully by then uh, everything here will be done too. Okay, so I'm leaving, I think, 10 minutes late, later than I was meant to, but that's all right. Um, I'm so glad. So Reese came home uh, this morning, like, got the early flight off the shore, offshore, because uh, we got the wedding tomorrow, and yeah, he's been able to help me this morning. He put the clips on the bows and cut apart a heap of scrunchies. So now I have a full box of bows and mini scrunchies. This is like overflowing, like I've had to pack them in quite tight. And then I also had the XLs that I made. So yeah, I've made quite a bit. Um, yeah, it is quite warm, but I don't know what it's going to be like outside. Maybe it's just warming here. Uh, the weather is looking really overcast, so it was, I thought it was going to be sunny. I don't know, it might change by the time we get up there. Um, but I'm pretty confident, you know, that we'll get there with plenty of time and actually get set up properly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my update, yeah. 
I'll see you guys. I'll probably film a little bit at the market, but probably not too much. And I'm hoping it's going to be a busy day, like last time. But you never know with markets. <laughs> There's still more even further down. Very nice Okay guys, so I'm home. I come by going to grab my camera. So this is what you're getting. Um it was good. It was busy but it wasn't as busy as last time. And not to mention that when I got there, 10 minutes after the opening of the gates, there was already probably 50 stalls. So I was kind of a little bit like, ugh, what? So we were really far down. I was actually further down than I was last time. But in saying that, there was another probably 30 or 40 stalls after me uh, that, got, that arrived. Uh, but, oh, well, it was still a good day. Um, I did, yeah, I did really wish to be around that, um, like, it was closer to the food, so, like, where the food and kids stuff was. So, like, that would have been better, but, oh, well, it's fine, is what it is. We had some good food. I saw a heap of XL scrunchies, like, last market, I didn't sell any at this specific spot. Or maybe I saw one. And, yeah, this time I sold, like, eight nine XLs which is quite a lot for a, a market uh, a lot of people were doing the two like buy two deal uh, and I also saw a heap of scrunchies so I needed to do another restock before the wedding so the wedding tomorrow is at 4 30 so it's like a night one afternoon one and it's two hours away and I'll have to get ready for it so I've only maybe got maybe two hours tops really to sort of get what I can done. I'm aiming to get maybe 20 or 30 scrunchies. I want to get some thin elastics done and also I need to get some XLs done. But then everything else I'm pretty happy with. Like there is some bows. Uh, like I sold a lot of the pink bows, the normal size. But yeah, can't really do much about that, I guess. I don't really have enough time. And I worked out I'm barely going to get any sleep after the wedding because we have to leave really early from Murdoch, Murdoch, for Murdoch. And uh, we get back from the wedding. The latest would be like 1.30 in the morning. But if we leave a little bit earlier from the wedding, probably like midnight. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm getting off now. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. What? Hi, guys. Um, uh, I'm like in here. It is, what time is it? It's 11.13. I don't have long until I have to start getting ready for the wedding. Um, this is the pile of fabrics that I've picked out to try and sew. Try and get them done in the next hour, an hour and a half. See what I get done. Um, probably won't film too much, or at least I won't talk too much, because I really need to get these uh, finished. But I thought I would give you a little update on how I'm going. I only just really got in here. Cause I've been doing other things this morning on getting ready for the wedding, <laughs> like getting stuff for the wedding. Um,
that. Oh my god. I I have my, my things on. I just answered you. And I have my noise cancelling headphones on, which don't have any sound. And he comes up behind me and goes, ah! Okay, so it is 1808. I really need to get ready because I need to leave at 2. I still need to do my hair, like crappy shower, everything. Um, I'm going to bring these with me to cut apart. Also, I've made like half a box of um, both size scrunchies, a couple things, wides, and XLs. Uh, I need business cards before I go. Because I ran out at the markets and I also need to get a heap of bags but other than that I think I'm right and the cars are already packed and I'm barely getting any, any sleep tonight um, I might get back on maybe to cut them in the car maybe and maybe show you what I'm wearing for the wedding and yeah and I might even jump back on when we finally get home which I'm predicting is either going to be midnight or 1am so <laughs> okay Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hi. Okay, I just thought I'd update you guys. It is midnight. We just got home. We did leave the venue pretty early. I think we left at about 10. Um, yeah. And I just drove really slow because it was so bendy and there was lots of wildlife. There was a kangaroo right in the middle of the road. I was fine there. Like, um, I was going really, really slow anyway because it was literally so bendy together. I was like, <laughs> like this. Anyway, I'm going to take my makeup off and I probably have a shower and then go to bed because I am so tired and I have to wake up at like 6 tomorrow, well today, because it's already midnight, past midnight. Oh no, it's almost midnight. Okay.
Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys! So I didn't feel much of the market. I was just so tired this morning and, and then I forgot my stand. So I couldn't actually feel much anyway. What did we get? Got heaps of food, which was really nice. What is that? Oh my god, that's a bit... Oh my god. That's a bit of my needle. There's a shot off my needle. How did it, how did it get over here? <laughs> when it snapped. I don't even know if I mentioned it, but my needle snapped. I can't... I remember if it was in this vlog, I think it was. It hit me in the neck. <laughs> um, I think it was only a couple of days ago too. Anyway. Yeah, and like kinda of, it just sort of shattered too. So there was a tiny bit in my like hit my neck, which I got on my finger, and then yeah, there was two big pieces and I sort of put it together and I yeah, there was a tiny bit missing and it's over here on the table. Anyway, so the market, it wasn't good. I didn't do well. Like I did make a bit of profit. Uh, which is good. So I, I did make my soil feed back and the fuel uh, to get there and back, but it was not worth it. I would have rather stay in bed, especially getting home so late um, and just having such a big night. Like I was on my feet the whole night. Yeah, it really took me took it out of me. But I went and Mum came as well because Reese wasn't feeling well. <laughs> so yeah, um, I called Mum this morning. I was like, oh, can you come? And she came around. Yeah, it, it was a like, beautiful day. Very sunny. I uh, thought there would be a, a lot more people. Ah, oh, and then I realised the organiser came came around and we're chatting. And he's like, oh, you're excited for packing them this weekend? And I'm like, this weekend? No, that's next weekend. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, we, we do it two weeks, two weeks earlier because of Christmas. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I have double booked myself two markets on the same day on Sunday. One was a $140 store fee and one was 88 and I'm a permanent at Lakeside Packingham, so I had to message um, the other stall and say, look, I double booked myself, so I think I'm going to lose $140 because of that oversight. Whoopie days. Um, but yeah, now I've only got four markets and possibly only just three left because I still haven't heard back from my Twilight market. They said they'd get back to me because I wasn't a permanent there. I'm just a casual. So like they're giving um, the permanents first preference sort of thing. And that's next, not next Friday, but Friday after. Oh yeah. So I've only, yeah, I've only really got four left maybe. Yeah, that's, that's all my updates anyway. Uh, oh yeah, and I had a nap. I got home. That's why I haven't <laughs> been on. It's like late as right now. It's like 8, 8 p.m. I had a sleep. So now I'm going to go just relax for the rest of the night and then I'll have to get back into it tomorrow. <laughs> and then we've only got about two weeks left before I can have a break. I'm really, really keen for a break. <laughs> so excited. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. <laughs>